Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Should we start with a little bread and butter? I think that's a good idea. You ready? You know the movement. It's laugh and clap. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. On three. One, two, three. Hello. Oh, that was so fast. I barely heard it. Okay. Should we do, should we say hello in a silly voice? I'm feeling a little silly on this Tuesday. Are you guys feeling silly? Okay, let's do bread and butter. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as silly as we can. One, two, three, hello. Oh my goodness, that was so silly. Okay, let's do bread and butter one more time. And this time we're gonna say hello in a scary voice. Are you ready for that? Okay. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as scary as we can. One, two, three. Hello. That was a little scary. Okay, as you can see, what Miss Leslie and Miss Rachel and myself were dressed up because it's Halloween story time. Okay, I think Miss Leslie is gonna get us started with a book. Hello, my pretties. Yes, indeed. We're gonna start today's story time with Brooms Are For Flying by Michael Rex. This is published by Henry Holtz. This is a uh, a really fun interactive story, so I hope you guys will join me. Our friend here is getting dressed for a Halloween party. Saying bye to her mom. All right, everybody ready? Yes. Me. Legs are for marching. Can you guys march? Use your legs. Good job. And feet are for stomping, stomp those feet. Excellent job. Oh, eyes are for peeking. Oh, guys, I'll do that. Very, very nice. And arms are for reaching, reach. Out of your arms, good job. You know what this is, wings are for flapping. Excellent. And tails are for wagging. Can you wag your tail? <laughs> bones are for shaking. Shake your bones, everybody. And capes are for sneaking. Very sneaky indeed. Mouths are for moaning. Let me hear you all moan. Whoa. Whoa. Very good moaning. Tummies are for treating. Yum, yum, yum. And masks are for <gasps> tricking. Oh my goodness. What was hidden behind that mask? <laughs> All right, Miss Susie, what have you got? I want that book. Though. I have a pop up book called Pop Up Peekaboo Pumpkin, and it's published by DK Publishing. Are you guys ready to pop up? You ready? Okay. Little black cat is looking for three friends that can fly. She's found a creepy cauldron. Look behind it. Don't be shy. Should we look behind the cauldron? What do you think? Yes? Okay. Oh, peekaboo. Here are three, the three flying. Do you see the flying bat? The baby bats are searching for someone else who flies at night. 
Is she hiding in the tree, keeping out of sight? Should we look behind the branches? What do you think? Okay, let's look. Ooh, ooh. Yes, here she is. It's Hootie Owl. Hootie Owl finds a house and hears an eerie sound. Who's hiding here behind the door? Waiting to be found. Should we open the door? What do you think? <gasps> Peek-a-boo, it's Smiley Ghost. Smiley Ghost goes in the house, then hears a tiny squeak. It's coming from under the witch's hat. Should we take a peek? Take a peek. Oh, squeak, squeak, peek-a-boo. It's Miss Mouse enjoying some cheese. Now one more friend is hiding. Do you think you might know who? Look behind the pumpkin and say, meow, and peek-a-boo. <laughs> oh, meow, it's Little Black Cat. Well, that was a lot of fun. Okay, Miss Leslie, do you have some a song for us? I have a really fun song about three little pumpkins. One, two, three. Three little pumpkins sitting on a gate. A witch came flying by. Ah, ha, ha. You better watch out. I'll turn you into pumpkin pie. Oh, Ooh, that witch turned my pumpkin into pumpkin pie. How many pumpkins do I have left? One, two, you guys ready? Two little pumpkins sitting on a gate. A witch came flying by. Ah, ha, ha. You better watch out. I'll turn you into pumpkin pie. Ooh, how many pumpkins do I have left? Just one. One little pumpkin sitting on a gate. A witch came flying by. <laughs> you better watch out. I'll turn you into pumpkin pie. Ooh. Oh boy. No more pumpkins sitting on a gate. A witch came flying by. <laughs> no more pumpkin pie. All right. And last week we did a really fun pumpkin song that I would do, thought we would do again today. So if you remember, we're going to do into our lap and clap like this. Pumpkin, 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 red. Pumpkin, 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 head. Pumpkin, 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 pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. That's right, I. Pumpkin, 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 cake. Pumpkin, 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 shake. Pumpkin, 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 stew. Pumpkin, 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 boo. <laughs> Miss Susie. Should we find out what is in the witch's kitchen? I think I want to know what's in the witch's kitchen. This is by Nick Sherratt, and it is published by Candlewick Press. Let's see. What's in the fridge in the witch's kitchen? Open it left or open it right. Will you like what you see or will it give you a fright? Let's see. Tasty cheese, yum. Bats with fleas, oh no. Let's see what's in the witch's kitchen next. What's in the tin in the witch's kitchen? Open it up or open it down. Will you shudder with horror 
or grin like a clown? Let's see. Lollipop, oh no, biscuits and cakes. <gasps> Spiders and snakes, oh my. What's in the toaster in the witch's kitchen? Open it left or open it right. Will it make your mouth water or turn your hair white? Some crunchy hot toast. Yum, my favorite breakfast. Let's see. <gasps> Ouch, a grumpy burnt ghost. Oh no. What's in the cabinet in the witch's kitchen? Open it up or open it down. Perhaps you'll be smiling or maybe you'll frown. Something very, very bony, oh my! Baked beans, soup, and macaroni? <laughs> What strange goings on in the witch's kitchen? If your frazzled nerves can't take it anymore, make your escape through the witch's back door. If you wanna escape, let's go. <gasps> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Leslie, what do you have for us? I'm gonna share a story with you all. I'm just waiting. Am I not being spotlighted? There we go. Okay. Uh, I've got a really fun Halloween story to share with you. But before I share that story, I did want to let you all know that um, we created a Halloween playlist on Spotify, which we're going to share with you all um, on our YouTube posting of today's story time and Friday's story time. So they're really fun, silly, spooky songs for Halloween. And that will be, again, available um, when you go to our YouTube page. All right. But this is a story called The Little Orange House. Once upon a time, a little witch was walking through the woods. The leaves started to fall from the trees and a cool breeze blew in. And the little witch thought, ah, I have to prepare for winter. I don't know where I'm gonna stay. She started to search for a house. She couldn't find anything. Just then the wind blew in a piece of orange paper and it landed right at her feet. She picked up the paper and she said, I'm a witch. I bet I could turn this orange piece of paper into a house. So she took the paper and she folded it in half. And then, being a witch, she pulled out her scissors from her pocket, Bing! just like that. And she said, okay, I need a roof for my house. So she started to cut a round roof. Very nicely, just like that. And just about when she got to the end, she thought, oh, you know, I need a little garage for my broomstick. So she left a little end right there. Oh my goodness, hold on one second. Whoop, I cut it the wrong way. Let's try that again. Silly Miss Leslie, what was she thinking? Okay, so she cut a circle like this. Okay, oh, she did it wrong again. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go. She cut a circle. All right, and there we go. And then she thought, well, how am I gonna get into this house? I need to make a door, but I have this very pointy house. So let me make a door that can allow my hat to come in. And she folded it and cut just like that. So she had a nice house with a door 
where she could fit through with her hat. Well, she walked into the house and it was very, very dark. I can't live in the dark like this. I'm going to need a window. So she took her scissor and she cut out a little window in the front of the house and the back of the house. Let's see, that took some work. She had to cut very carefully. Okay. All right, now she had her house ready with her door and her window through the front and the back. And she went inside and she got plenty of sunlight. The house was perfect. She went outside to gather some supplies for winter when suddenly she heard <laughs> somebody was crying. Who's that? She saw a little ghost. Little ghost, why are you crying? I'm so cold and I don't have a place to stay for winter. Little witch said, don't you worry. You can come into my orange house and spend the winter with me. And you know what? I'm gonna make you your own special door. So the little witch cut a little door for the ghost. So the house was perfect. It had a nice round roof, a door to allow for the witch's hat, a window to let in light, and a little entrance for the ghost. And the witch and the ghost went into the house and they lived happily ever after. Would you like to see what the house looks like inside? Let's have a look. Oh, look, just like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> All right, Miss Susie. <laughs> that was wonderful, Miss Leslie. Very, very clever. Okay, do you guys want to meet my monster? Look at this monster. This is the big green monster. He has two big yellow eyes. He has a long blue nose, a big red mouth with two white sharp teeth. He has two squiggly ears and he has scraggly purple hair and a big, scary, green face. Can you guys, we want to tell this monster to go away. Can you say, go away, big green monster with me? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Go away, big green monster. Okay, you don't scare me. Go away, purple scraggly hair. Go away, two squiggly ears. Go away, long blue nose. Go away, yellow eyes. Go away, big red mouth with the big white sharp teeth and go away big green monster and don't come back until I say so. <laughs> oh, well, we got rid of him. Okay, should we do a little zoom, zoom, zoom? But we're going to change the words a little to make it a Halloween version, okay? Are you guys ready? Can you get Get your zoom, zoom, zoom movement ready. You know this, right? Like we do with the rocket ship. Okay. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Climb onto my broom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Climb onto my broom. If you want to make a scene, fly with me on Halloween in five, four, three, two, one, boom! Oh my goodness, that was fun. Should we do it one more time? Are you ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Climb onto my broom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Climb onto my broom. If you want to make a scene, fly with me on Halloween in five, 
four, three, two, one, boom! Oh, so much fun. Okay, Miss Leslie, should we play some music? Yes, and because we're doing a Halloween story time, we're gonna do a Halloween song. So this is called Spooky Lou, and it's like loop de lou So you guys can sort of dance around. We're gonna spotlight you all, and this is gonna go on our YouTube channel. So if you don't wanna be included, you could turn off your video camera now. But one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna put our right hand in. We're gonna take our right hand out. We're gonna put it back and give it a shake, 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 and turn ourselves about, and we're gonna do that with all different parts of our body. All right, so you guys ready? Let's do it. Here we go, Spooky Lou, all on a Halloween night. <laughs> Miss Susie make that decision, but we're gonna either do both of them or one of them. Let's go. Yeah. Clap your hand. Let's go. Hands. All right, everybody. You ready to clap your hands and stop your feet? One, Let's go. two, three. Come on, wiggle worms. Let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody, clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody, clap your hands. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody, stomp your feet. Let's say hi to all our friends. Wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello. Hi everybody. Well, I know you don't like it, but now it's time for us to brush our teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Touch your nose, touch your nose, everybody touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your sweet little nose, everybody touch your nose. All right, it's time to clap those hands. Clap your hands, 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 clap your
Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Who's We're going to clap John? Yeah. remind you about a thousand books before kindergarten. We read four books today. We read three and Miss Susie did a flannel board based on a book. So I count that as a book. You can fill out your four circles. When you're done with your first booklet of a hundred, bring it to the library and we will give you this fabulous tote bag. If you have any questions, you can email us, you can call us. It's a great program. Don't forget about Halloween on Main Street. You can check our website for that. And uh, Let's wrap this up. You guys ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Raise your hands up high. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. We'll see you all on Friday for another Halloween story. But right now, it's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone.